uh, today, you are here to hear a presentation on LENS versus ELN versus LES. My name is Megan. I'm the marketing person here at CSELS, and today will be uh, Lisa Litchfield, a laboratory formatics consultant here at CSELS, doing the presentation for us. I'd like to remind everyone that we do have a hashtag going on Twitter, CSELS webinar. Um, you are welcome to join along as Alyssa does her presentation and share your insights, um, any tidbits that you thought were interesting, and it's also a great way to go back and search and see what everybody else has picked up on as well. Um, I will also be tweeting some of the highlights throughout the webinar. I um, do want to remind you that today the webinar is being recorded, so if you have any questions, please use the chat feature. All right, looks like we're ready to go, so I'm going to pass the ball over to Alyssa and have her take over. All right, thank you for that introduction, Megan. As Megan indicated, my name is Alyssa Litchfield, and I am an informatics consultant at CSALS. I specialize in LES, ELN, LIMS, and strategic consulting. In the past, I've worked in industries including consumer products, biopharma, and petrochemical. And um, even before that, when I worked for a vendor, I did crystal report developmentation, infrastructure deployment, technical writing, and software quality assurance. I've been in this industry for eight years now, and uh, this past summer I just finished my master's degree in organizational leadership, which I have found to be very helpful, especially on strategic engagements. Today I'm going to be going through an overview of each of the systems, so LIMS, ELN, and LES. Then I'm going to discuss some implementation models that might work for your lab. Then I'll go through the convergence of application functionality, some frequently asked questions that I hear when I'm out at client sites. I'm going to go through a couple of case studies that CSOLs have worked on actual projects and that I found relevant to the topic today. And I'm just going to close up with some selection tips to help you get going. So in the informatics space, there's a lot of acronyms that are used, so it kind of seems like alphabet soup, and it gets really confusing. So I figured just to start out this presentation, I would go through what the acronyms actually stand for, just to make sure we're all on the same page. So LIM stands for Laboratory Information Management Systems. ELN stands for Electronic Lab Notebooks. And LES stands for Laboratory Execution Systems. I'm going to go through each of those in more detail now. So LIMS. A traditional LIMS focuses on samples or logical groups of samples. And within that functionality, you're going to see logging of samples, scheduling tests, uh, checking results against store specifications, which this feature itself I am personally a big fan of because it can be configured in a number of different ways. So in some of the LIM system configurations, you'll see an email get sent to the analyst or to the laboratory manager. Um, you might see a pop-up on the screen in real time. It might indicate what the inspect result should have been. So I just think that's really helpful to let you know how your experiment is going in real time. Um, also, LIM systems can monitor instrument calibration and preventative maintenance. So on a lot of engagements that I go on, I will talk to people that they're still doing all of this in Excel, which is super tedious, and a lot of times there's one scientist in each lab that is responsible for keeping track of all of the instrument calibration and preventative maintenance in a spreadsheet. So if that person is maybe even just out for a week, everything falls apart because now it's really likely that people are running experiments on instruments that are out of calibration or that have fallen out of maintenance. So um, that's why having a limb system that can just do it all for you is a huge uh, stress relief and a good time saver as well. Uh, limbs also can handle inventory management, which can really include anything that you use in the lab, but that includes standard solutions reagents. Um, also limbs can do review, approval, and distribution of results. And LIMS works really well in the QA, QC space as well as the R&D space. So there's not really a restriction based on the type of work that you're doing. Um, as we'll see with some of the other systems, some of them actually favor QA, QC over R&D. 
The next system we're going to talk about is ELN. So as the name implies, it's really taking your paper notebook and getting it electronic, but it also does a lot more than that too. So with ELN, the focus is on runs or experiments. Um, you can store metadata associated with the experiment, so like the date and time and the instruments and things of that nature. Um, there's traceability to instruments, raw materials, etc., which is really wonderful because if, um, if for some reason something went wrong with an instrument or um, a raw material was recalled or something of that sort, you would actually be able to query your system and figure out all of the experiments that were affected. And that's helpful because um, all of those affected experiments might actually have the results that were skewed and you wondered, oh, did I do something wrong here? And turns out you didn't. It's just, you know, something went wrong with a raw material. ELNs also can do chemical structure drawings. Um, and there's an ability to create ad hoc or on-the-fly experiments. So there's a couple times that, or a couple situations that this is especially helpful for. One that I've heard of more from the management level is that they love the fact that when there's an upcoming holiday that they know the office is going to be, or the lab is going to be shut down for, they can ask the scientists in advance to do all of those experiments. And so the way that the scientists would do them in advance or even after the fact, if it's outside of the schedule, would be by doing an ad hoc experiment. So that's a huge perk. In addition, though, if you are in a case where there's something that did go wrong with one of your experiments and you have to just take a peek and figure out what happened, a really effective way is to do an ad hoc experiment. and see what happens the second time around. So that is something that scientists particularly like. Um, ELNs really encourage collaboration among scientists. 